Hi there and hello my fellow entrepreneurs from all around the world. How are you doing on this very fine day? It's actually a very hot day here in Australia. Uh, I might have said that on too many of these videos. I'm filming them in a batch. But we're moving on, moving on. All right. <laughs> so this video is going to be for you if you want to uh, learn sort of three principles of attracting clients to you instead of struggling to find them. Okay. And I'm going to get more into that in a moment. I am going to quickly introduce myself. I am Tiffany from Tiffany G Studios. I am a client attraction specialist. I help coaches, consultants, and service providers to stop struggling to find clients and instead learn to confidently attract them to you so that you can easily make money by being yourself. If you are interested in my three secrets of client attraction, type three secrets below. I would love to uh, send you through some info on that and I'd also just love to hear from you. So uh, let's dive in, shall we? <laughs> three ways to attract clients to you. These are kind of like my three big building blocks of my client attraction system that I work through with my clients. Okay, they're kind of like my big basis of the three secrets of client attraction. So if you want more details, diving into those three secrets would definitely be a good thing. Type three secrets below. But let's dive in. Number one. And my number one tip is, tip, tip doesn't sound good enough, but my number one point here <laughs> is to be confident. Okay. Now, if you're anything like I used to be <laughs> hearing that, might just make you go, oh God, yeah, great. Another one, be confident. What I mean by this actually is uh, this kind of saying that I have, and that is stress repels, confidence sells. Okay. I'll say that again. Stress repels, confidence sells, right? So what happens when people start working with me quite often is I hear this and that is, Tiff, I need clients. I, I just need clients. I need them now. Okay. And, and I don't know, uh, am I going to do this or am I going to do that? Uh, uh, I need you to help me. Just, just, I need a strategy. What am I going to do? And this is where I come in because here's the thing, like, I don't know if you hear it in my voice, right? That whole, what am I going to do? I need clients. I need clients now because it's coming from this place usually where I've got bills to pay. I, I need the money. I need it now. And this is where part of what I'm all about is setting up a system so that you don't end up in that situation again or if you know if you do say lose a client or a client drops back hours or something like that you're in this situation where you can just turn around and just fill the gap quite easily because you have this system happening right and that's my next point and I'll get into that a bit more in a minute <laughs> but this whole thing of that whole stress people pick up on that stress like if you're getting on a call and in the back of your head, you're like, oh my God, I have to land this client so that I can pay my bills. Uh, if you're in that situation, people can, can pick up on it. I mean, like not all the time, but a lot of the time they can. And they won't even be able to put a finger on it. They'll just feel like you're not the right person for them or they'll, they'll end up saying no. If you've thought about it, the times where you've been stressed out and having to do stuff, it's probably led to more no's. Uh, I know there's some parts of the population where stress actually really helps them uh, and then maybe in this case maybe that's that's not for you but if you find that when you're stressed out and you notice you're getting more no's then uh, then this is a case of where you kind of need to flip it and get into this sort of confidence mode okay and this is a situation where you like think about it think about a time maybe in your past where you either had you had a meeting with a potential client but you didn't need the client or maybe it was like a potential job interview and you didn't need the job, right? You just, something came up and you're like, eh, why not? I'll check it out, right? And those are the situations, like, you know, the whole body language, it changes. You're like, ah, yeah, sure, whatever. And and you listen to it and you think, oh, okay, hang on. Uh, what is it? This sounds like it might not be for me or it's going to be more difficult. I'll jack up the price because I don't need the client. You know what I mean? And then they're still handing money to you, hand over fist. Take my money. I want to work with you because they see your confidence and they feel that whole, oh, she doesn't really need me vibe. And then they really want to work with you because they think, oh, yeah, she must be really popular. She must be really great at what she does, that sort of stuff, because, you know, your confidence. This is where 
are confidence cells and stress repels. Okay, so this is my number one thing. The thing that I help my clients with is learning uh, like how to put in a system so you don't get into that situation again, but also in the beginning is how to embody that confidence even when you don't feel it, <laughs> even when you need to pay your bills that month or whatever. So, and that's a case of we work through some stuff. So number two uh, on this whole uh, my client attraction system, I guess, sort of uh, a part of it, the, the bedrocks, I guess. Number two is that client attraction is an ongoing system, okay? So I help my clients set this up in a way where we can turn it on, we can turn it off, or we can, you know, just keep it trickling away in the background, or we can turn it on and be like, full flow. We need, you know, let's get lots of potential clients happening. But it's this thing that I had to realize that it's this ongoing system. And the hard part is, is when you've got lots of clients and then that stuff is in the background and it sort of gets dropped off because you don't need it right now. All your bills are getting paid, that kind of stuff. But it's these things that I do that I set up in my business. And if, if the word systems is triggering you right now, what I mean by this is I don't mean technology. I just mean these things that I do to make sure that things are getting done at the right time in my business. So for example, you know, the first week of the month, I create new content uh, or uh, what is it? Every week I uh, review my progress. Uh, you know, I look at my financials, certain things. Uh, what is it? Once a week, I uh, take time to build relationships and do sort of like one-on-one -on -one outreach and some of that stuff, right? So these things that are always happening as this system that helps attract clients to me. And then, like I said, sometimes it's a trickle in the background, which, you know, again, it depends on the system that you've created. For me, I help my clients to create these systems where it's something that works for them, okay? So it's not just a case of everybody who works with me has to do live video, okay? It's a case of, okay, what works for your personality? What works for your lifestyle? Let's put something in place that works for that. And it could be these other systems. It could just be doing content and then just talking to people, um, it's one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Another, you know, other stuff could be more advanced with, you know, webinars or launches and things like that. You know, that whole gushing tap thing, you know, <laughs> right? So, so that's my second one. It's like, it's an ongoing system and that system, it's not one size fits all. It's something that works for you. And my number three is to be a brave original, right? In this online business world, in this whole world at the moment, we need to stand out from the crowd. And you can do this if you're an introvert, okay? I'm an introvert, okay? That's why I'm sitting here and I'm, I'm sitting uh, here while I create this video. I'm not standing up like everybody says you have to because this is me, this is my personality, this is what works for me and I come across much better when I get to work to my particular strengths, right? So being a brave original, it's about not sounding like everyone else, about being able to be different, take a stand on new things, it doesn't necessarily mean you have to like dye your hair pink and be all look at me, look at me, but you can still stand out from the crowd by having an opposite approach to what everybody else thinks. One that works for you, don't just be opposite just to be opposite, but one that actually works and that you believe in. Um, other ways that you can stand out from the crowd is you know, letting your personality shine a little bit. If you're an introvert, that can be a case of maybe pretending people have asked you some questions and then that way you can like let some bits of your personality come out. If you're anything like me, it's really hard to put that stuff out there <laughs> when you know you, somebody hasn't asked you a question. I'm going to go into this into an upcoming video in more detail. But uh, the other thing to be aware of when it comes to being a brave original is that in, in business, you need to be okay with standing out from the crowd and being alone there in the beginning until your people are attracted to you. That's the hardest part, <laughs> being alone there in the beginning. I saw in this, this training program I was in where they actually showed this guy, he was at a festival and everybody was sitting around and they're just chilling out or whatever. And then he gets up and he starts dancing and he's alone and he's dancing alone for 15, 20 minutes or something like that, I think. Dancing alone. And I know he's at a festival, so he doesn't care what anybody thinks of him, right? But this is the thing that we need to get into our normal life is not being so worried about what people are thinking and just being okay to be that weird different person in the corner until your people 
find you until they're attracted to you okay it takes a bit of time it's okay being on there on your own because in this festival example 15 20 minutes then one other person gets up and they're dancing together for you know another five ten minutes and then a third person gets up and then a fourth person and suddenly there's this critical mass of everybody joining you um And that's the situation that we kind of need to do in our businesses as well, right? It's uh, creating that kind of stuff, being okay with being on your own. And so being a brave and being original and doesn't have to be out there, but it's just letting the parts of you that are you come out a little bit. And that's what I help my clients work through is working out exactly what that means for them, defining it for them, helping them draw it out and helping it come into their work and into their content and into their whole uh, business and life at times, okay? So those are my three building blocks of attracting clients to you, okay? Number one, be confident. Number two is it's an ongoing system, have a system, okay? And then number three is to be a brave original, okay? Thank you so much for taking the time to tune in today. Uh, Let me know below what you think of this. Uh, What are you doing to be a brave original in your business? Do you have cool systems? And uh, do you struggle with stress and being confident on sales calls or in, you know, getting out and talking to people about your business? I'd love to hear from you. Let me know below. I will get back to you. (laughs) I definitely check out the comments every single day. So uh, that's it from me. Again, I'm Tiffany from Tiffany G Studios. Bye for now.